and if you haven't um, I it, it was for El Macquera at the 60 se 62nd Grammy Awards this year in the 2020 but look let's listen to Rosalia come back and I speak about Rosalia and Billie Eilish and Rosalia and Kylie Jenner come back take a listen barefoot in the park enjoy song for you that I wrote with a friend of mine a very good friend of mine that he was here too I couldn't see him I was so sad so sad I couldn't see him before but his name is James Blake he's my favorite you know my favorite one my favorite for sure artist in the world and this song is called Perfect in the Park this is for me
to get straight into the gossip. Now, the gossip is that uh, Rosalia and Billie Eilish are going to do a record together and a collaboration. And if that is happening, if that happens, that's going to be number one all over the world globally. Billie Eilish is an incredible performer. With Rosalia's voice, it's incredible. Check Barefoot in the Park with James and you will see him singing English, her singing uh, Spanish. And it's a beautiful, beautiful video. And that's a live version, Fair Play Pete. Now, we have to get back to Billie Eilish and the collaboration. Is it, isn't it, C or no? For me, it's a big C. Yes, wow. It's rumored that Rosalia said no to Madonna. Por qué? No lo sé, as they say in Spanish. But I feel Madonna and Rosalia, it would have been in Spanish mal, um, and a career choice that wouldn't have worked too well. But I feel if, if Billy and, and Rosalia are doing a song, muy bien, as they say in Spanish, and felicidades Rosalia for saying no to Madonna and seed to Billy. I will explain. In life, you have choices. And you've got to make the best choice for your age, for your music, for long term. And they've got to be carefully made. Everybody would say, crazy, crazy, no to Madonna? Why? It doesn't matter. Rosalia has made the right choice, in my opinion, musically with Billy. And it's going to be an incredible song. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Okay, let's go to here and we talk about Kylie Jenner and we talk about Rosalia. Their friendship. They have become friends, very close friends. And in January at the beginning, I read about, um, oh, all I can say is um, a ring that, oh, oh, and a photo with Kylie Jenner and Rosalia and people saying stupid things like they're engaged. No. It was for photo, for De Niro, no, I say. But it's stupid to think that Rosalia and Kylie Jenner are engaged. Now, Rosalia, escucha me, por favor, escucha me. Do not, do not, do not. You have to make choices. Rosalia, you said no to Madonna. In cosmetics, no to Kylie. People have said Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. Now, Forbes, the people who make and give you the magazine and the list of the billionaires, have said that Kylie Jenner is not a billionaire. And they don't understand where this rumor came from. And I had seen her mother on Ellen DeGeneres' show, and the mother was very... Ellen said to her, Ah, oh, you're a billionaire. Uh, Kylie's a billionaire. You must be very happy. But, and the, the madre was very... Mm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course, Claudia, you see, because now Forbes have said no. So the rumor is false. In Spanish, falso. Mucho. So for me, I think Rosalia, da-da, Jeffree Star, like this. Jeffree Star is the number one cosmetics opinion presenter of cosmetics, makes cosmetics, and talks about cosmetics and he's a number one YouTube star. Rosalia, if you want to make cosmetics, go telephone Jeffrey, talk, see what Jeffrey and you can do. And if you come together like Billy in music and you come together with Jeffrey Star in, in makeup, madre mia, it would be spectacular, Rosalia. And Jeffrey, the hair, the attention to detail, everything is like you. Rosalia, just, I think, no to Kylie Jenner, yes to Jeffrey Star. Telephone Jeffrey, have a talk. Etu and Jeffrey would be wah. So that's my opinion. Now, over there, we have Rosalia with the very famous nails. And people say she has very, very long nails. Are they, are, see or no to the nails see they're real they're not false and from the age of 15 
Rosalia used to paint her nails and then they got longer and longer and she became crazy with them. And this year, Felithi Danis, Rosalia, you won the Grammys for your album in Spanish, the first in, in, uh, to win. And not since Sharika, um, ooh, about 15 years ago, has anybody won anything in Spanish in the Grammys. So, Felithi Danis. And the nails have always been something Rosalia has done since she was 15. She experimented in art. So I hope that makes her fans happy listening to that. Let's listen to the second video. It's a very slow, beautiful, and it's Rosalia Esputi. It's for you. Enjoy. Live from Las Vegas. song for you to listen to now we all love Rosalia I love Rosalia I've talked about Billie Eilish I've talked about Kylie Jenner whom I think she should do be doing uh, cosmetics with Jeffree Star of course come on but the one thing that we cannot get away is she deserves her Grammy and gracias for todo Rosalia for bringing the Spanish um, musica to the English ears now a lot of people appreciate Spanish, love Spanish. And if you, if you watch the two videos, Los Dos, you will 
not hear anything. People are, and they listen to Rosalia's voice. Her voice is spectacular. Her personality is incredible. And Rosalia is somebody that I hope will continue, continue, continue to be successful because she deserves to be. Young people always thought you have to be very, very thin and you have to look a certain way to be successful in music. Rosalia is curves. She's a woman and she portrays, this is me, I, I have, I have, I have. And young people now are like, hey it's good to have a body and weight and you don't need to be so thin her body image is perfect for young people to follow so it's a good positive light we've talked about her nails we've talked about cosmetics we've talked about musica the last thing i want to say is gratis for the musica rosalia and for uh, everybody who's spanish gracias por escuchar mi musica channel top 20 20 biopic on Rosalia.